Okay, y'all. Good morning, good morning. Uh, Tuesday morning, uh, Jerry got to work on time. He was early, actually. So that's pretty good. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, but he knows we're not working tomorrow or the next day. Uh, the tricky part here with uh, having a guy this time of year, uh, you know, is you want to you want to try to hold on to him and, and, and until you have regular work. And to me, I'm gonna tell y'all this good shit I'm gonna tell y'all. It's almost worth taking a hit on some money uh, just to keep them working where they don't find something else, right? So that's important, man. Uh, I can't I can't emphasize that enough. Uh, because, see, he's in a spot, and I'm in a great spot, too. Of course, you got to keep, as, as, a, as an employer, you got to keep yourself and your finances in a spot, in a good spot, you know. Uh, and I got everything it takes. Like, if I hadn't have bought the second truck, then what would I do right now, right? You got to, you know, groom the help to to, uh, to come out here and do the work, right? And just like I told him, I need somebody for the summer, man. No bullshit, man. I need somebody for the summer that can uh, run the other truck. But if I didn't have the other truck, then what would I do? I can't put somebody in, in, in a in the Kia and expect them to be all they can be while I'm sitting here and driving around in a $50,000 truck. You know, like I told y'all last summer, the Kia is not a permanent solution. Matter of fact, I'm so uh, pro equipment right now uh, uh, and considering I got this other truck, uh, I may end up selling the Kia. You know, how consistent he is. He works hard and he shows up and he's ready to work. Dude, that's all you really want, man. Like, he don't have to go to the store, and, and you know, it's okay if we do, but it, it ain't, like, mandatory, you know? So, uh, I don't know, man. I, I might, you know, I always like to think the best. I know a lot of guys always seem to think that I think the worst, but, you know, I like to think the best in my head anyway. I want to try to get him to come for the summer. And then, see, we can fill in the holes. Right, usually I have a, you know, I've had Zach out here the last three or four seasons, and then before that I had Drew. So, I just need one solid person, and then we can work around all the dumb crap, right? You know, we can work around uh, what jobs we take. We can also work around, we can hire guys to come and help us. Uh, but I got to get him acquainted with the yards, and that's going to be a time-consuming thing but if he'll commit to the summer and we're we're discussing it if he'll commit to the summer then I'll commit to showing him everything and making sure that uh, that he knows what he know, what he needs to know one thing about having somebody out here that's new that I don't know well and I don't know their family or nothing then well that's a whole lot more risky for a guy like me and I'm not talking about physically I'm talking about uh, mentally and uh, work-wise uh, because I have to watch everything a little bit more uh, I have to uh, you know make sure that they're on the same page as me of course you got to do that with anybody you hire but it's good to know whoever you're hiring some of their history right and now a lot of times people that you know or don't work out or people that you uh, family might know their family blah 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 and they gotta you know it might not work out but then sometimes it does so you know uh, he's young enough to be my kid so he's only 30 years old so I could easily see him and his granddaddy taught me a lot of stuff about landscaping I worked with his granddaddy when I was in high school uh, so you know it's been uh, full circle man you know uh, I can remember when I was just a, a, just a dumb punk teenager his granddaddy in the middle of in 1987 or so would work me let me drive a dump truck and you know and uh, lay sod and did a lot of, of, of other stuff he had a landscape a little landscape gig on the side
Okay, y'all, so we're here. It's uh, 9 o'clock. Uh, and now we're going to... Probably going to go ahead and take a load out of here. Uh, I got to get him going. I'm, when I do the load today, I'm not going to have to have him w go with me. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Find him? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so y'all see all these blocks we got, man? We we might have made a little. We might have took a calculated gamble. Because we might have to unstack these. I'm, I'm thinking about just throwing them on the damn dump trailer, man. Because unstacking them is going to... Man, that's a lot of work, man. And we can't do that until we clear out the area here. All right? Can you see where I went up? Looks good. Look at... Well, it's, you know... Is that the final? No. Oh, no, no, no. But you see, basically what I did is I cut them off. And then now I can grind that down. Okay. So this tree right here, we're going to limit on up. It needs to go up higher. So I, I'm just giving you a list of... And these little saplings got to go too. Well, yeah, I'm going to get them. To keep in mind, I'm coming in here with a brush cutter. going to grind that down. So it's I'll hit that while... Yeah. Yeah. You got the line as far back besides wanting to Yeah. Out. And then once we once the brush cutter gets in here and we knock some of this stuff down, uh, yeah, all that. Rake first, spread it out pretty good. Well, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'd make a, and we're gonna have to do something here, dude. Was, this is, we're gonna, I'm not fun. sure exactly what, but just keep that in mind. We're not gonna build it, we're gonna have to get the machine over here. I was thinking I could like leverage it and try but to, but you see, look person. where it, look where it's growing yeah. right through right there, dude. Damn, we're gonna try to, we'll figure out something on that. I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm really going over everything for myself, too. Uh, all this obviously is coming out. Now I'm gonna come right here with a grapple and I could probably, this stuff right here needs to go on the dump trailer, whatever that is, that tarp. Okay. That, that's out. Mm -hmm. Okay, hang, hang on now, well, you don't have to do nothing now. Machine's gonna do a lot of that. Let's just go over everything. I'm gonna get this out of, out of, out of there. I'm gonna cut it off at the, at, the, at the tree line. I don't know. It looks like it's growing in there. Embedded into the tree. I couldn't, yeah. literally half of this tree has got that piece of metal down in there for just a heads up. And, yeah, you can see where it's growing around it right there at the top. So what I can do, best thing I can do is cut it off right at the fence, right? That's all I can do without ripping the fence. Yeah. Uh, and then, like, is that any good? That wood is all dope. No, I'm talking about that sprinkler Spray thing. Nozzle. Let me just set it over there on that thing, man. Uh, so you can tell I was here, can't you? Yeah, sir. like a bomb Yeah. And that's what I was saying about the brush cutter. The brush cutter does great. But man, it leaves a mess. Just think if I had, we hadn't taken that one load out of here. Yeah. And just think if we didn't, I didn't have another load built up over there. It would be a, a lot more stuff on the ground. But you see... Uh, oh, you do got a good little pile. And some oh, yeah. Well, yeah, uh, I'm going to try to spread it around. Uh, I just kind of want to see. But what I need to happen is I need everything off this fence. Like this shit. Yeah, you'll, obviously you'll cut that. But also... Uh, I need you to rake, get everything out past this tree. That's what you were talking about earlier. Okay. Yeah. Two well, like you'll start right here with the rake on the outside, just pulling everything away from the fence because I can't do nothing with it up on the fence. I can't get it with a bucket. I can't get it with a mulcher or nothing. On the outside, not on the inside. Yeah, no, no, you can't bring the machine on the inside. Well, that's right. I didn't know if you wanted me to rake this too. No, no, no. What, look, what we'll do is, is, uh, is if you pull it from the outside, mm -hmm. then uh, and, and get all the heavy shit, then, then what we'll do as as you go down through here, you just cut everything, yeah. and this is time-consuming stuff. We got to get this out of the out of the way. Yeah. Well, way. you got to get this. I want all this off, dude. Oh, okay. That, that, I mean, they specifically are paying for that. Okay. No so, uh, but the cedar trees are done up front, and the pine. Yeah, they, they look. Oh, yeah, dude, you did a good job on them. They look good. They really like that. Everything and don't start like in the middle. Start on one end or the oh, other, and work, work. and work your way across. So then, when if I see you right here, right as I'm in my periphery, if I see you right here, then I know all this is done. Okay. Right. So you can come behind me. When right. I'm and then like the big stuff, like every stick, dude. Look, every stick out there. Out, I, I can't do nothing with it. You know. Down all the right. Get it out past the trees. And then of course this stuff in here you can just throw throw it over the fence whenever whenever. Dude, you can look. You could you could you could literally 
grab all this shit after you rake it, just throw it over there where I can get it with the mulcher, oh, okay. and that we'll just mulch great. it up. Keep in mind, hey, always trying to work to, with the machine. We want them to do my goal in life, is I want my machine to do, do everything. Uh, so what the main goal right now is just to start grinding these stumps down, get all this done. Uh, we're gonna have to reach and cut some of these limbs because we're gonna save that pin oak, but all this is gonna go away. Yesterday uh, afternoon when I came back over here, I went on and cut all these right here and took them over to my staging area over there. Okay, y'all, so y'all can kind of see uh, what I've done. See, that's the thing about the brush cutter. It's gonna always leave a mess. Now, you gotta take that into consideration. Just think if I had ground up th those trees from the whole tree down. It was gonna make a mess. And uh, we're not trying to make no more of a mess. We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna have Jerry with the pole saw. He can reach up and cut all these branches off of there. Uh, you gotta pull that on out, which is nothing. Uh, okay, y'all, so uh, I'm gonna get the top of this oak tree right here. I'm gonna use, just use my saw and cut it. And then I'm gonna uh, go on and cut these three sweet gums that are around that oak tree. I just want to cut them and lay them down. Uh, see, mulching things up, it, it makes a mess, like I was saying. Uh, so I'm going to put y'all over here somewhere where y'all can kind of just see. Uh, but I'm going to use my saw. Uh, I'm going to put the grapple bucket back on here. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll reach up in these trees and cut the top out, right? Uh, and then when I get them the top out like that, that's when I will get the grapple bucket and I'm gonna go on and, 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 and brush mow all the stuff behind that uh, pine tree. So.
Contrary to what the video said earlier, uh, this is it for over here. Uh, we're done. Uh, well, it's gonna rain, so they don't wanna put the straw out yet. Uh, I'm probably gonna move the straw to their front porch, but this is it, we're done. I gotta grab my grapple down there. I gotta grab my tooth bucket. So, this looks really, really good. This is one of the better jobs that I've done. A couple of things I learned with that new brush cutter that really makes it a really unique piece of equipment. Uh, it's a given that it makes a mess, but you can minimize the mess it makes by, uh, by putting the back down because it has a solid plate across the back. It doesn't have chains hanging down. So you can grab material and push it to a pile and then like push it to a pile like on a wood line. And then you can just uh, mulch that pile up. I ain't talking about a pile of, of big sticks. I'm talking about just a pile of dirt, sticks, whatever. So y'all see here, all this looks really good. Uh, Yeah. Uh, looks really good, man. Damn, boy. Now, we'll be over here probably in about three weeks or so to cut the grass. And when we do that, I will probably come up in here with a lawnmower and hit some of this right here just to kind of, you know. But y'all can see. Man, I'm gonna have to grab that with the grapple. So y'all see what we got going on. And again, it's not perfectly clean, right? Uh, but if we're not gonna come over here tomorrow to spread the straw, then we're not coming over here. There's nothing to, we can go do some other work. I've got some other jobs that we can go do. Uh, This looks really good. And it is the woods. But without further ado, let me get on the machine, put the brush cutter on the thing, and yeah. But uh, y'all know what it is, man. Y'all know what it is. It's not so long time, baby. Deuces.